Uh, you may not know it, but uh, Sunday is San Diego's fourth annual social media day and local businessman Rob Marlboro, they call him Downtown Rob, and Tyler <laughs> Anderson are hosting a networking event to celebrate. And here to tell us why you should get involved are the gentlemen. Good Men, morning, Rob, boys. Tyler, how are we today? Hi. We're good, we're good. Thanks for having us. Yeah. All right. Uh, social Media Day. Yeah, this is an introduction for everybody. Uh, okay. Get us started. So, well, Social Media Day, this is the fourth year we've had it. Um, uh, the last year is really the year we kind of took it up to a whole new level. And we had a huge networking party last year. Um, had close to a thousand people attend. Um, basically, it's celebrated around the world. There's meetups taking place literally everywhere around the world um, to celebrate just basically how social media has changed our lives, how we use it to communicate, uh, interact, and engage with each other. Um, this year, we're uh, stepping it up even a whole nother level, and we've added, uh, added a free educational track sessions to it. So we have some awesome, amazing speakers coming to talk on that. Um, everything from uh, Facebook marketing professionals, Mari Smith and Amy Porterfield. Um, we have a lot of local businesses too, the social media teams, such as the social media teams for Petco, Qualcomm, um, UTTV. I know, um, I heard Chris by. Cantore, yeah, Chris our Cantore. boy Chris is going to be there, which is good because he's incredible at social media. Exactly. Yeah, he's always on it. And, and the whole goal is just to, to let people, whether you're new to social media, you want to learn a little bit more, or if you are a marketing professional and you want to you know, find craft uh, or, or, or polish up your, your skills with social media to learn more, and then we're going to have the big networking party again as well. Isn't it overwhelming for a lot of people because it seems like social media is literally changing day by day? I mentioned uh, before we heard the news that uh, I, I, I love Instagram, right? But now that they've added a video feature, I love it that much more. But I'm having this like inner conflict because I've got so many more followers on Twitter than I do on Instagram. and. I don't know how to build my audience necessarily on Instagram, and, and I wonder if you'll be teaching things like these. Naked photos. <laughs> Hopefully no. not the naked photos. <laughs> that's for me. That's <laughs> Snapchat, which we are not covering at Social Media Day this year, maybe next year. Um, but yeah, I think a great way to build your uh, followers on any of the social networks uh, is using hashtags. Now that Facebook uh, has started supporting hashtags as well, so it becomes this ubiquitous thing across all social networks. So tagging photos or video clips now mm -hmm. with hashtags, and people can follow that hashtag or, and discover your content when they're looking for other content on that hashtag is a great way to f get followers. Um, if you have a great uh, Twitter fan base, um, you can tweet your uh, photos from Instagram to those networks and share them across networks as well, and that'll bring in more people into that network as well. So there, we'll be covering all of that kind of stuff um, in the educational tracks uh, with the different speakers that are gonna be speaking on the different topics. Are you guys, I'm assuming, probably gonna have a lot of, I would say, business owners coming in because I think there are, especially, I hate to say it, but sometimes an older generation understands that they have to get involved, but they don't really know how to. Uh, absolutely. Um, or they don't understand that they really do need to, seriously. Right. No, a lot you're of absolutely, like, oh, you have to convince that, them yeah. to, like, this is important now. Well, we, we're gonna have a really a, a diverse crowd, so um, we've already exceeded over, I didn't check this morning, but as of yesterday, we were like, over 1,200 RSVPs already. Wow, so that's great. It is a free event. Um, we're probably going to tap out around 1,500. Um, so there definitely will be business owners, but again, there'll probably be just you know hardcore social media users of San Diego, people mm -hmm. like Scott who just want to learn a little bit more about sure. you know how to grow their Instagram following. Right. You know what I think? I think there should be like a seminar called Social Media for Moms. <laughs> I cannot tell you how all the moms in my neighborhood, none of them use Twitter, none of them are on Instagram, and I constantly say to these ladies, I go. How do you follow what your kids are doing all day? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, because, stalk your children. This is all, how. Because all day long, these kids are, are, are on Instagram. I watch yeah. my kids all day long. It's how I know what's going on. Absolutely. And I just yeah. think there are a lot of uh, moms, I don't have time, I don't have the need. They could, if they understood what they could get, what it. they could receive, mm -hmm. I, think they'd, I think they'd use it. Absolutely, and and there's a lot of tools too. Um, some I know some of the, the speakers. Will, I'll definitely make sure we ask some of those questions. But I think people feel that social media is a daunting task. Like, oh, I don't have time to keep up with it. I mean, my email is already flooded. But there's so many great tools and mm -hmm. apps out there that can really kind of help you filter that information and, and make it so it's not a full time job. Right. Yeah. Or maybe even put priority on the ones that are really important. The ones you think like, okay, these are the three main ones you should use. This is how you use it. I think it's it is overwhelming for someone who's like, what is all of this? No, for sure. 
Um, I, I just, well, you know, because Facebook was the biggest thing going, right? And now I, I don't know, is Facebook on the way kind of out? You know, th uh, there's been yes. some research out there that they, they lost. <laughs> he you says know, yes. I, I, He's I like, just, no. My whole take with this is, you know, Facebook is so big. I mean, it's over one billion users worldwide. It and even large. if you take just the amount of people who use Facebook exclusively on their yeah. mobile phones, mm -hmm. it's still two times larger than Twitter. Well, and, and they're constantly <laughs> also, so, you know, the hashtags as well. Yep. They're always trying to keep up with everything that's going on, yeah. too. They to me, it's that. really scary to me that Facebook is becoming more and more like the old MySpace. Right. Yeah. right. And that's the thing where it, when you start going that route, then people are starting to get a little kind of kind privacy of settings it. and creepy and whatever. Right. If they keep changing things as fast as they do, they start losing some of their audience, I think. But yeah, that's right. again, it is the big the you thing know, too is yeah. My, yeah. MySpace was ahead of its time with social media. Yeah. The first, no right. doubt, no doubt, they were and way ahead with, of their time. With Facebook, people are so um, invested in it. Very true. Yeah. So. Guys, have, have a great event. Uh, social media day sounds amazing.